Just want to give a big shout out to all my members. I really, really appreciate that. If you want to join, hit that join button, man. I'm going to do some giveaways, start doing some stuff for the members, man, because I really do appreciate everybody. It really helps out the channel. And I love everybody like Step Cousins. Man, I hope you're having a wonderful day or night. And as always, be good to yourself, man. Hell freaking Transformers. Yeah. Are you looking for action figures? Then head over to The Chosen Prime. The link is in the description. Just follow that. And man, they got everything your heart desires. Transformers, 5-2 toys, Power Rangers, Turtles, Marvel, DC, statues, whatever you want. Just go over and follow that link, man. You can order everything you want. Just order. Just go over there and order. Well, hey there, everybody. How y'all doing? Hope everybody's having a wonderful day or night. And welcome back to my channel. As always, I'm Deluxe. All right, let's do another freaking transfer review. And this is a big one. This is the DLX. This is 3-0 Optimus Prime from the last night. You can tell, beautiful box. It's huge. Lots of colors. Got Transformers. Got the Cybertronian stuff in there. 3-0 down here. You can open up the box. And you can get the, just like most of them you can see in there, you know, fortunately I got him out right now because uh, I've been messing around with him. You got the beautiful artwork right here, with the sword and everything looks good. Got Optimus Prime last night, deluxe collectible figures. You got the three, uh, I think it's three zero, yeah, three zero sticker right there. Looks good. On the back, got him once again last night and then under there and uh, some stuff under there, not much. And it just says Optimus Prime, D, uh, DLX, Transformers Last Night, Optimus Prime. All right, that's a huge box. That's what she said. All right, so let's get right to what he comes with. All right, so here's all he comes with. First things first, as always, instructions. All right, so I've got the Deluxe Optimus Prime. There you go. Very nice instruction. Shows you everything he comes with. Um, all that right there. Then you also, he does have a light up feature for his eyes. Now they take, it doesn't say in the this thing, but I had to look them up. It's AG13 uh, batteries. So um, I'll show you that later on with that and show you how you can put the, you know, the shield on, the sword, how you can carry it, all that stuff and how to uh, try to, you know, articulate him so you won't break anything because there's a lot of movable parts. And yeah, I just, I'll show you. And then you got that as well. So there you go. Let's get this out of the way. All right. So uh, let's see if I can bring it down a little bit. So he comes with a couple sets of hands. So he's got these kind of uh, open, relaxed, like jazz hands. Very nicely sculpted. He's got some dirt and grime to him. And he's got this big old gap, which I'll show you. He does have these like um, things that you can put on them. Um, and I'll show you. Oh, he, he's got them on right now. But um, I kind of wish they would have gave him all the same this thing is so they wouldn't be able to because this thing that you know it's like a um a hand cover kind of thing going on like an armor um i wish it pops off you know quite a few times uh it's, you know it, it stays on but you know once in a while if you if you manipulate him the wrong way it will pop off so i kind of wish they would have just all came with that so you won't have to mess with them. But anyways got the nice fingers and everything uh these are a little movable they won't stay you know like if you you know try to move it down it's going to pop back up but it is a little flexible, so it's a little soft plastic. Then you got these two hands right here, kind of a, you know, relaxed kind of a hand going on. Same thing going on, nice gunmetal silver. Beautiful paint, it's got that grimy dirt to it. Uh, then he's got these, which are going to hold the sword. And actually, the thumb, which is really cool, the thumb comes off, just real easy. And you, you put the sword, and I'll show you that later on. And then you can put back, you know, so you won't have to try to stretch off the... Uh, thumb and try to maybe break it or anything like that so that's pretty cool i like that that's a nice little thing and it does move everything so you get that and he has closed fist on right now all right moving on he got these little pieces right here which will um hold the sword hold the uh shield um you know on his back or you know on his forearm and everything and i'll show you that so you can attach your stuff and everything and i'll you know we'll see that so you get two of these little they're not painted they're just you know gray plastic and you get these two little things, one a straight one, and then this one right here kind of looks like a crank or something, like a... So, I'll show you what you do with those. So, he comes with this little piece right here. This is going to go on the left forearm, and allows you to um, use this weapon, this little spike, and also to put the um, shield on. So, like you would use this, 
and um, I'll show you. I'll show you more whenever we get to uh, the bot and see how that is shaped right there. It goes in kind of like you just got to line it up and make sure it's you know in the right place and go like that. And I'll show you that later on. But there you go. It's nicely painted, red and blue. Looks really good. And he comes with one faceplate, which is his mouth, because you know Michael Bay had to give Optimus Prime a mouth. But it's nicely sculpted. Really nice. Got some uh, silver and some blue in there. And you can switch that out by just pulling off the other one. The mask, if you want. If you want to have him have the mouth, you have your option. So that's pretty cool. All right, moving on to the weapons. Like I said, I'll show you this. This is the spike. You know, he's going to fix to kill uh, Bumblebee. Nicely done. Got some gunmetal silver. Once again, got this like dirt, you know, kind of grimy stuff to it, which most of them do, and it's really nice. And then you got this. Like I said, it's going to go in on this piece right here. You're just going to have to line up that one. And uh, yeah, I'll show you that later on. But you get that little spike right there. You get a shield, which is beautifully well done. The, the shield and the sword just, oh my gosh. Look at all that grimy stuff on there. Got the nice little sword right there. You got the red and blue. Got the, you know, scratch marks on there. Battle damage. You got some gold accent pieces. The red is beautiful. I love that cherry red. Going down once again. Got the flames. Man, you got kind of a copper kind of a thing going on. But look at that. That is beautiful. And on the back, you got some uh, Cybertronia. I don't think that's Cybertronio, but you do got some Cybertronio, uh script on some stuff, and I'll show you that too. But look at all that sculpt work and detail there. On the back of the shield too as well. I mean, you're not going to see that very often. That is nice. And moving on to the sword. Long and strong. Going to get his friction on. Beautiful. And now here's the Cybertronian script and everything. But nicely gunmetal. Nice sculpt work and detail. You're going to hear me a lot. I know I'm going to say this a lot throughout it, but sculpt work and details and everything, it's just beautiful on this thing. Got the red and blue. Once again, got some scratch marks and everything. Looks good. Moving on down there. Golly, look at that. That is freaking beautiful. Wow. That is a sword. All right. And the last thing is uh, the stand. Like It's a normal stand, just like the three zeros come with. It says 30 Optimus Prime. You got this. You're going to put it in here like this and put that in there. This uh, goes up and down. You release it up there like that. And this moves too as well. And then up here, you got a nice like that to extend it. And this piece right here, just like the most of them, you have to take it off. And it's got teeth on there. And you can just adjust it however you want to. And this will go into his uh, booty. And I'll show you that later on too as well all right that is all he comes with him man that is freaking awesome all right here is the last night optimus prime the man of the hour and man you may not like the character but my goodness this thing is beautiful it's a beautiful wonderful piece my god it looks stunning look at that head sculpt my goodness all right, now I do have the mask on. I'll show you. I'll take the one off and you can see the mouth. But man, look at all that. All this is painted. The paint on this thing is just wicked. But man, look at that head sculpt. You got all that right there. Man, that is freaking awesome. You got these, uh, kind of a... Sh these uh, shoulder pads, not shoulder pads, but kind of, um, I guess, what, I don't know what they call uh, something, you know, over your shoulders and everything. But look at the sculpt work in the neck. You can look the neck up right there. And then everything on the chest. You do got some moving little pieces right here. You do got the 80s wound working shoulder pads right here going on. But man. Move down the, to this area. Look at all this. My gosh. The red, the blue, the gunmetal. You got that little tiny Autobot symbol right there. Got some nice gold accent pieces as well. As 
Wow, look at that. Get this out of the way. You see under there? And you can see the arm too as well. He's got the close fist on there. And then here's the little things I was talking about. Mine don't pop off that easy, I mean, but they do come off. Like I said, I kind of wish they would have thrown one on each of the hands. And so you wouldn't have to worry about that popping off. So, but very nice. Got the red and the blue. Skull work in there. All right. And move on down to the waist area, the legs. Once again, got the nice red hose, got some gold accents pieces. These little things right here. Mostly everything is on ball pegs. So that's good. If it pops off, you can pop it back on. But you got to be careful with this thing. A lot of moving pieces. A lot of um, stuff gets in the way. But stuff does get out of the way too as well. Like these things right here. Little hips. They're on a little hinge right there on a ball peg. But you know, just be... This thing you have to be careful with. I'm just telling you right now. Because you don't want to break anything. And um, just stuff just sometimes gets in the way. And I'll show you that during articulation. Once again, there you go. And one more time. I'll go down to the lower legs. You got some nice Cybertronian writing right there. Some gold. The knee piece, the knee pieces. It's got some nice dry brushing to make it look like battle damage. And over here, nice red and blue right there. Lift up to show the feet. Nice paint job right there. Tons of sculpt work throughout there. Even underneath. It even says 3-0 <laughs> on there. That's pretty cool. But come on now. They got nice sculpt work on there. And underneath right there. All right. Turn it around and we'll go up once again. Look at all that. Nice red and flames. Now there's a lot of silver on this guy. You know, it's not the you know the G1 Optimus Prime that everybody's accustomed to with a lot of red and blue, but there's a lot of silver on there, but it looks good. Move up to the booty area. Now you take this piece off right here. That will go, that's where the uh, stand will go into right there. I showed that in a little bit. But nice cherry red right there. We got the arms. Look good. All right, one more time. Over to here. Man, look at all that sculpt work. Man, I'll show you the real quick the uh, ab crunch. It shows the vertebrae. That's pretty cool. I like that. That is neat. Got the nice spoke stacks. Got the soot. Kind of a black soot on there. Looks really nice. And then there's the back of the head. All right. So I guess we'll go through our articulation first and then we'll talk about the um, accessories and everything. I'll show you how they put on the stuff and everything. All right. So with the head, tons of articulation. So you got a ball peg with this part right here, then you got another ball peg down here for the neck area. So this moves on its own. So you can look down quite a bit. You can look up quite a bit as well. You can't go all the way around. Like I said, these little shoulder things right here get in the way, but it's far enough, I think, for you know for what you need it. And uh, up there, and you can get a little add to it as well. Now this neck piece also moves too. So you can get a little further down and not much up anymore, but you can get the little side to side motion and everything. So get a little wiggle waggle there going on. So very nice with the head movement. That's awesome. All right, these little shoulder pads right here. Okay, so for the arms, like I said, these do move and these do, this little shoulder pad does move out of the way too as well. Now you can move this around so it won't hit the smokestacks. And let me just show you, you can move that. 
So you can get about, I would move these out of the way. You can just move it and it will start to move itself, but I just get these out of the way just so it won't scratch up anything. So yeah, you have to kind of be careful. Like I said, with this thing, you have to be careful because you're just, there's so many moving parts and you just don't want to break anything. So you can go 90 degrees outwards like that. Move this back down and then you can cover it back up. You know, you can move it. With this one, you know, you're going to have to, you're not going to move, you know, you're not going to articulate real quickly. You're going to have to get them into the positions that you want it and you have to move stuff out of the way. So just be careful. Okay. Now these, like I said, I showed you, these do move up out of the way so you can go all the way around. Now you do have a butterfly too as well. Nicely done. It's a little backward butterfly too as well, but you get a forward. Uh, maybe not backwards, but you do get a forward uh, butterfly and you can go pretty far across your chest, across his chest. So that's pretty good. Got some nice sculpt work in there once again. All right. So you do have a double elbow. See, that will come off. Just be careful with that. Um, you do got a double elbow. Let me uh, move this down a little bit. Okay. So you do have a double elbow. Move that back into place. Um, this kind of gets in the way, so it doesn't get the full, but you get more than 90 degrees. And I think that's good. And these will move too as well. These little elbow pads or something, whatever they are. All right. So with the hands, oh, bicep swivel. There is a bicep swivel, but it's really tight. Be careful. And you will have to move this out of the way to get a little, you know, deeper. But this kind of gets in the way, so not much of a bicep swivel. Let's see if I can get this out of the way. Yeah, so you can get that away, and it kind of just runs into it. So just be careful with that. And that will pop off too. Be careful. It will go back on there. All right. So the hands, they're on ball pegs. Uh, you can up and down, swivel, back and forth. And like I said, you can switch them out. Like I said, right now he has the closed fist and everything. All right. So that is with the arms. Both of them arms will do that. And you can move that right there. All right, off camera, I moved uh, moved the camera down and I moved the arms up and everything so you can see some movement. With it. Okay, so it does have a waist swivel. Doesn't go all the way around. Doesn't really need to be, but you get enough, I think. And the thing is, be careful when you're grabbing onto this area right here. Like I said, these will move out of the way. These are on a ball peg too as well. They will move up because you're going to have to move them up to do the um, legs, you know, articulation. But be careful if you're grabbing these because you don't want to pop them off or break them or anything like that. So I try to grab them by the lower leg and or the upper leg right here and try not to grab those. And you get about to right there, which I think is pretty good enough. Like that. You do got, I'm a little teapot. And this little thing back here too, this is where you, uh, let me show this real quick. This is where you're going to put the uh, sword or the shield. Right in there, this thing pops off real easy too as well. Be wary of that, you don't want to lose that. All right, so you can do, um, I'm a little teapot as well. And you can do a little waist swivel up the top too with that too as well. So that is cool. Like I said, I already showed you the, uh, he does have a nice, um, uh, what's that called? Ab crunch, <laughs> I couldn't think of what it was. And it shows the, uh, you know, the vertebrae thing, that's beautiful. So that's cool. So he has a nice, nice ab crunch. And he can look up, so that's pretty cool. Does it defeat the purpose? Okay, let me, let me get him situated and I'll move it down to the legs so we can take a look at those. All right, so like I said, these do move out and they will move out if you, if you start doing the, you know, the Van Dam, they will move out too as well with it, but just you can move them out of the way so I'm not going to do the whole thing, but you can get out to about right there for uh, the uh, splits. Now he does have a drop down. Like I said, you do have to kind of, if you want to get these out of the way so you can get them situated. And if you want to, you know, pose him, then you can move these back, but kind of get these out of the way. He doesn't kick up very far about to there because uh, like I said, using the drop down right there. That's good and doesn't go back any at all in the back so you don't got a leg there so move that back up there and like i said you can move these up and down these are on a ball peg kind of situation you can move them all the way up 
or you can move them down as well. Looks like they're not moving for me. There you go. So move them up, move them down. So he doesn't have a thigh swivel, which kind of sucks, but he does have a nice knee bend. Let me grab it where I can get it right. And it's a nice knee too. I love how it comes out like that. Looks really good. So you got a nice knee bend. That is good. Okay, moving on down. Once again, beautiful sculpt work. All right, so I'm gonna use this side of the foot. Okay, so you can move this out of the way. A little bit, it's on a little hinge. Uh, you do have a swivel for the foot. You got a nice upwards, not much of a downwards. This stuff gets in the way. Um, you do got a rocker, but a bigger rocker, rocker on that side. This side, it's all right. It's decent, but it kind of wishes a little more. And you can also move the toe up as well, just by itself. Like that. Move that back down. And there you go. All right, so let me get him situated. And I'll show you what you can use as weapons and hands, all that stuff. All right, so let's go through some of the features he has uh, and, you know, the weapons. All right, so he does have a lot of a gimmick. What you got to do is I kind of loosened this already. And what you got to do is get this under there and you get take this piece right off of here. If I can get it under it. There we go. And there is another piece right here. There's a screw down there. You unscrew that. Put in your two, like I said, AG13 batteries. And then you kind of try to put this back on. I'm going to put this head helmet back on. There we go. And you push this little button right there. And he does have light up eyes. Let me see if I can turn the lights off and you can see it a little better. And he does have some line details in there too as well. I don't know if you can tell. But if you... Let's see. Yeah, right there. That is freaking awesome. Just like the movie. You know, unfortunately, he doesn't turn purple, you know, because he did, you know, when he became Nemesis. But that is pretty cool. Turn the lights back on. All right. Like I say, you just push this back in and you turn them off. But that's pretty cool. They kind of look like a dead eyes if you don't have them on, but that's a nice little feature. I like that. All right. Moving on to the back where he has storage. Like I said, this does come off pretty easy once in a while if you're holding him on the back and that might pop off just be careful you don't want to lose that piece all right so what you can do you can store the sword and the shield together so what you do is you take this piece right here the long one and you just stick that in there like that and then you take this and it's going to go in right there and fits in pretty good you know it still gives it gets a little backpack but not terrible now you also can add on the sword and this kind of makes it a little sticking out a little more. You take this piece right here and then you can just kind of slide this down right here and where it, you know, gets snug right there. And then there you go. And that, well, that makes it a little bigger, but and I'm not going to, you know, display it like that, but you have that option if you want to. And that's pretty cool. Now you can also just display the sword and also you can turn this. So if you want to turn it at an angle, you can. That's pretty cool either which way. So you take this off and take this out. Come on. There we go. Then you take this other piece right here that has a little curvature right there. And you just put this in. And you can put the sword. And just have the sword back there. Let's see if it catches on. There you go. And also twist is too, so you can have it at an angle. And that's pretty cool. So there you go. There's a option to have it on the back right there. Oh, and if you want to switch out the mount place, well, I should have done this with the light feature, but you take this off right there. It's just tabbed in with these two little things into that peg. And you can peg on the mouthpiece if you want to have him have a mouth. And there you go. I am Optimus Prime. I think he says that like 15 times in a row. There you go. That's another option. All right, so if you want to, you know, you're going to have to take this off. So I'll say you have this little forearm piece, which is, and then you have this one where you can put on the shield and this piece as well. So what you would do is, I want to move this out of the way because this will pop off more than likely. And you try to get into this little crevice over here and take that off. And so you got the little hole right there and then you just replace it with this. 
There you go. And then you would take this little piece right here with uh, it looks like a little crank and you kind of line it up to how, let's see. Let's see if I can line it up right. Sorry about that. Hit the, there we go. Then you would take the shield and just tab it on right there and it will move. So you can have it, you know, angle it out any way you want to. That's pretty cool. And take that out. And then with this piece right here, what I've uh, come into, run into a little incident, it's, like I said, this will pop off. If you put this in, you might need to angle that a little further down. And it may just, it's, see how it's going to rub, it's rubbing up against that uh, forearm or the, um, the fist shield thing. And it may pop off, but maybe not. Okay. I got it on there good. So there you go. You just put that on there. But just be worried that might pop off. And get over here. Switch off the hands. You can take this off. And you just pop that off. It's a little ball peg. And then you put over whatever hand you wanted to. And then put the little uh, hand shield back on. And there you go. So yeah, that is what he can do with all his options of weapons and stuff. Um, oh, let me, I'll be right back. Let me put his hand back on. I'll show you how to put the sword on too as well. All right. So you may want to get a, um, hairdryer and maybe loosen this up. It's a little tight. You can spread it open a little bit and I got it in finally. And then you just want to put the thumb back on, which is like this. And that kind of secures it right there. And that's pretty cool. And then you just take it and then. Come on, get on there. Just be careful. Yeah, that little piece right there is going to pop off sometimes. There we go. So there he is holding his sword. And that's how you do that. All right, and that's how you do all his uh, accessories. And real quick, there he is next to his little buddy. There is Bumblebee from the last night, also 3-0. I think that looks really good together, man. That's awesome. And there he is next to MP44 Optimus Prime. You got MP Sideswipe and Tiss McGee because I like seeing Tiss McGee. And that is some skill for you. He's a big fella. And Crappagonics, crappy toilet paper, AAA battery, Carmex, Care Bears, Kicker, and Squeaks for more scale. Alright, final thoughts on 3-0, The Last Night Optimus Prime. Let's just get the negative out of the way. It is a pain in the ass to move stuff around. There's so many moving parts. And you gotta be careful with it. You just gotta be careful. It does have you know decent articulation, but trying to get him into you know poses to you know it took forever to get all of my pictures done. It's just a pain in the butt. And I, the little uh, hand things, the hand guards, you know, the sh the shield things, they fell off way too many times. I wish they would have just put them on, glued them on all the hands, and uh, it wouldn't they wouldn't pop off all the time. So um, luckily, most of the stuff is on uh, ball joints. You know, if it pops off, you can just pop it back on. But other than that, this thing is a beautiful freaking piece. Oh my gosh, the sculpt work, the detail, the paint, awesome. Like I said, the articulation. I wish he had a bigger rocker. But it's, it's not terrible. But man, other than that, man, the weapons are great. You get extra hands. All the stuff is painted. Really well made. It's just not fun to uh, mess around with. So, you know, just worry, you know, just be wary of that. But other than that, 
It's a beautiful piece. I love it. So hit me up with some likes, shares, prayers, and care bears. Go ahead and hit that sub button for me if you don't mind. Hit me up with some comments. Tell me what you thought of the review. And I guess I'll see you in the next uh, 3-0 review. And as always, be good to yourself. Man, help freaking Transformers and help freaking 3-0, man. Golly, this thing is so sexy.